Shalom, shalom. In today's video, I want to talk to you about a very rare skill set. Let's talk about it. Today, I'm back at an in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, today we're talking about one of the, the most rare but valuable skill sets since the beginning of time. You know, there's mysteries of how the Egyptians put together the pyramids. There's all kind of skill sets behind figuring this stuff out. People go to college for, for years and study theology, things to do with religion. You know, a doctor goes to school for a minimum of eight years. Think about all the different skill sets. How many people don't have the skill set to be able to build a house? How rare that is. For you to be able to go to the bank, get a loan, and somebody else who you think, man, that's a sucky job, but they have real skills. Flooring, cooking is a rare skill set in this day, time, and hour when we think about people that actually know how to uh, cook from raw ingredients rather than just prepare stuff out of a box. It's a lot of different rare skill sets, but today I told you I'm talking about one of the most valuable skill sets since the formation of the world, since the beginning of time. Doesn't matter what geographical location we talk about and their history. This is the most valuable skill set you might want to start learning while you have time, because time's running out. Man, before I go any further, man, make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think it is. It all comes down to if you love me. That's what it comes down to. The key word is if. It's a conjunction word, if. If you love the Father, if you love Hamashiach, Messiah, or JC as these brands, call him. Rare skills, the most rarest and most valuable skill set on the face of this earth is fearing the most high Yah and keep his commandments. 99% of people aren't capable of doing it. 99% of people have no interest in fearing the Most High Yah and keeping His commandments. Why is that? The reason is because they've been sucked in to brands that told you that you don't have to do these things. You think about the first Davrim of Exodus chapter 20, or the first commandment or injunction in Exodus chapter 20, you shall have no other gods or Elohims for I am a jealous L. Think about on a daily basis how many people violate that. Following all kind of astrology, zodiac signs, you know, all kind of, uh, following all kind of chakras and different energies that are rooted in other deities. Mm. Think about how many, think about even in your own family, the people say that they love God or love Messiah keeping holidays that are rooted in doggone other deities, pagan. People don't realize, when, man, when you're celebrating Christmas, a holiday in which you're not going to find in the Bible, which, for example, the book tells you to follow not the way of the heathen, for the customs of the people are vain, and then it gives you a description of what people do when they celebrate Christmas or winter solstice, 
people don't realize they're celebrating the birth of Nimrod. The challenge and the onus is on you to go back and look at when the doggone birthday of Nimrod is. Hmm, why is that important? Because we see all kind of abominations being committed in the temple where people were thought that they were worshiping, worshiping in truth, and there's a passage in the Bible, you can Google this. The woman was weeping over Tammuz. Who is Tammuz? Tammuz is the son of Nimrod. Mm, the S-U-N God. I'm just, I'm just hitting one commandment, one Davrim, that people can't even, don't have no interest in getting right because these brands have deceived you. Okay, when we think about make no graven image, carved image. We go over to Exodus 24, it says molten image. Man, seems like these brands got a lot of images that the book highly speaks against. Who told you to, 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 to take this European man with, with long uh, bur uh, brunette hair and blue eyes and make him the image of that brand? Hmm, that's nowhere in the book. You can't find nowhere in the book where Messiah wanted to be painted and portrayed on a picture. He prohibited. I'm just giving you an example. Here's another one. This is why this is a rare, rare skill set. Remember the Sabbath, keep it holy. If you go to your phone right now, pull up your calendar. I can 99.9% .9 guarantee your calendar. The first day of the week on the far left, it's gonna start with Sunday and it's gonna end with Saturday. Sunday being the first day, Saturday being the seventh day. If that doesn't even make any sense, Google Merriam-Webster Dictionary, Google hmm, Saturday, the definition of Saturday. It's gonna tell you it's the seventh day. You Google Sunday definition, the meaning, it's gonna tell you it's the first day or the Christian Sabbath. And I want you to, in that definition, there's some key words you need to go back and look at because that key word in the Christian, you know, uh, replacement of Sabbath, that's what that word means. Replacement or alternative or similar to. Go back and look this up. Okay, here's another one. You say you love them. And I told you it comes down to if you love them. Chances are you don't. The book says, they that say they know him and keep not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. Now you see why it is a rare skill. When you look back, who changed the Sabbath? Man, we can go all the way back to the Maccabean period. Go read 1 Maccabees chapter 1. Google that and read that all the way through and you'll realize, oh snap, who the heck is Antiochus? Man, my pastor ain't never told me about King Antiochus, hmm. Antioch ring a bell, King Antiochus, okay. That's the first, that's the first go around. The book says that they would change time and dates. You can Google that, change time and dates. That's a, that's a passage in the Bible. Another one, okay. You look up who changed the Sabbath to the Lord's day or from Saturday to Sunday. Now you're gonna find out Roman Emperor Constantine. Who you following? Are you following these brands where they got all these different brands, 37 brands, 37 different flavors, but there's only one original. The only original is in the book, you know? And I'm telling you, if you're following these brands, you're never gonna learn how to strengthen your walk, how to fear the Most High Yah and keep the commandments. And I tell you, if you're following these brands, you're never gonna learn how to fear the Most High Yah and keep his commandments. Why? Because you don't love him. And the book does say, if you love me. Keeping the commandments is found in over 40 places throughout the Bible, Old and New Testament. And then lastly, there's a passage of Hamashiach, Messiah, who these brands call JC, where he says he's in conversation with the Pharisees. Why do you re why do you reject keeping the commandments of the Most High? 
in order to keep your own traditions. Think about that. Own vain traditions. Today we're talking about one of the rarest skill sets on the face of planet Earth. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking it gun barrel straight. Bow.